today I want to show you how to make or excuse me show you how to draw eyes in Illustrator CS6 so the first thing you're going to need to do let me get this open here first thing you need to do is you need to go on the internet or if you have a picture on your phone or whatever of some eyes that you like that you would like to draw after you found your uh, image of the eyes that you want to uh, draw we're going to place it. We're going to place it as a template. So I got some right here. I, uh, that was the original. I straightened it up so I could have it a little more straight across the top. You want to place it as a template, template and break the link to the original. So just make sure the link here is not checked and template is. And then you want to place it. And once it's placed, you want to zoom into it. Well, actually, first, let's, we want to create a new layer. Well, actually, it already created a new layer on top. And we're going to call this layer Eyes. And this is the layer we're going to work on. We're going to leave our template locked so we don't uh, do anything to it by accident. So we got our Eyes layer created now. Now I want to zoom in to her eyes. Oops, a little too much. And you want to grab your pen tool. And you want to start, let's see, we're going to start on this side. All right, we're going to start right here. We want to trace the outline of the ride. Now, you want to put one acre point at the beginning. And you want to go up to just where the curve starts going the other way. Put another anchor point. And while you have your uh, mouse click down, you want to drag out the anchor point so the curve kind of matches the eye. And then let go. Oops, make sure your fill's off and your stroke is on okay and then you want to come down to the other side of the eye which is hard to see here but it's approximately well let me zoom in a little bit more so I can get it a little bit better here Whoa, wow way too much okay, I'm going to zoom in just a little and we're going to go back and her eye is coming down it's a big old shadow there but I'm going to guess about right there so I'm gonna guess that her eye is gonna be about right here so I'm gonna put, put my main anchor point right there and I'm holding down and I'm dragging out that handle until I kinda have the cur you got to play really play with the handles to get it to curve right where you want it to curve at. Oh, that's a little too much. I'm thinking that probably looks good. All right, and uh, I'm gonna come down here, follow this curve, and just where it starts to turn, I'm gonna place me another anchor point. Let me command Z that, and. Uh, click on this and release that anchor point and then try it. If you ever run into that problem, just go back and click on your anchor point, release that handle, and then uh, you won't have such a hard time with it. So right where it started turning, going the other way, I'm going to adjust this here. Probably about, just, just about like that. And I'm going to come up here where it's starting to turn again. Well, first I'm going to go ahead and release that handle. Click on that anchor point, release that handle, and it's starting to turn just a little bit there. So I'm just going to work this out here till I feel comfortable with how it's lining up. Right about like that. And let's click here, release that handle again, and I'm going to come and join. You'll notice the little circle I have at the bottom of my pen right now. That means it will join if I were to click right now. You pull it away, you don't have it, get up close, you do have it. So I'm going to join there, drag out, let me see, drag out. It's a little bit of art, a little bit of science trying to figure out just where that handle needs to be located. But I'm thinking, nope, 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 nope. let's try it a little longer here. There we go. All right. We're going to hit enter to release that. And 
I got my eye drawn and this right here once you zoom out and once we put eyelashes on her you won't even see that little flaw in my drawing right there All right, next thing we want to do is we want to draw our eyeball so we're going to start with an ellipse tool and I'm going to come to about where I think about the center of the eye is and if you hold a shift and alt it will draw your lips from the center don't worry about it going above the eye and once you have it right about where you want it release your shift key press enter you have that released and now we want to draw one for her little iris right here and again you want your lips tool I already had it selected but let's say in the center right there Let's see if I can't see if it tell me where your smart guides if you don't have your smart guides turned on you can view smart guides it really helps whoops cancel it really helps when you're trying to line stuff up in the center okay it's telling me that's the center so again it's my shift alt draw her eyes that doesn't have to be exactly perfect but that's good enough they're gonna release and there we got it now we have her eyeball drawn, her iris, the outline of her eyes. Okay, now that we have the basic shape of the eye drawn, we're going to go ahead and select our pupil here. And we're just going to reverse this and fill it with black. And after that, we want to select our, our uh, well, the iris, I guess that's what that's called. Now we're selecting the pupil. And we're going to apply a gradient to it. Now that we have that blue there, we want to drag just a little darker blue here and put it on a black square just to give a, a better effect. Now we're going to get a little bit more contrast here. I'm going to double click here. Oops, there we go. And I'm going to darken the, the outside blue a little bit. And a little too dark. So about like that so we get some really good con well we'll lighten it just a little bit okay so we got some good contrast there and I want to I want to adjust the light I want the lightness to come out some more so what we're going to do the light blue excuse me what we're going to do we're going to drag the middle slider we'll drag to the right uh, say a little bit more than that there we go about like that that looks about right about what I was going for And now let's take let's uh, get the pupil here and let's change the outline of stroke. Let's give it a stroke. Let's go ahead and give it a stroke. And let's give it say we'll give it a dark dark blue stroke like that. Let me see. Yeah, dark blue. We'll give it a dark blue stroke like that. Let me see maybe. Try to see here. How about like that well I use that blue right there we'll give it that dark blue stroke it it won't look so big when when this thing is reduced so we're going to group uh, we're going to group the pupil and iris we're going to group whoops we don't want that so let's try this shift select and select them two right there and we're going to group these together so we can get it underneath the uh, eye, eye shape itself and then we're going to right click arrange and send it back okay now we want to make a clipping mask so we can get the eyeball to line up right with everything else so we're going to select it all here we're going to right click and we're going to make clipping mask that we have the shape it is uh, behind the eye like it's supposed to be but the eye shape itself has disappeared that's fairly easy to fix so let's release that let's get our direct select tool and let's click find the path there click on it and let's restore the stroke say we'll give it a one point stroke and let's make that stroke black okay and we're going to get a stroke of fill and we're going to we're going to 
we're going to fill in this area here before we do a fill for the eye. Let me go ahead and fix this. this I went out too far with this. So I'm going to double click on that anchor point right there. I'm going to drag it in to about right there. And I'm going to take my handle and readjust all this stuff. See, probably about like that. And that'll look all right. I believe that'll be okay there. Okay, so now let's give the uh, give give this a fill. So actually, let's go to swatches panel for this. I'm gonna go with a extremely light gray. I don't want to fill it with white. I just want to give it a extremely light gray like that. And let's release it all, and there we go. We have our basic eye now. Thing I want to do while we're messing around with this part, I'm gonna select the stroke. And I'm going to go to my stroke panel. And let me see, I want to give it uh, probably this shape right here. There we go. See how it took the hard hard corner off? So, I just want to get that hard corner off. Alright, now let's click and release the eye. And let's draw us an eyelash. It's time for the eyelashes. So, we'll get the pen tool here. What we're going to do is we're going to click. And we're going to go straight up, slightly to the right. We're going to click and hold, and we're going to drag. And give it just a little bit of a curve there. Remove the white fill. Bring this back one out. And from the stroke panel, you can bring that back out again. Might as well just leave this out. Then we're going to give it a profile. So we're going to go down to the bottom of our stroke panel, like a profile. Let's select this one right here. Okay, that looks pretty good, but it's going in the wrong direction, so we're going to flip it. Click this little flip button right there. There we go, there's our eyelash. So now we're going to make sure we like the eyelash shape, so let's go ahead and select it. Let's drag it on down, and we're going to set it down on the eye. And it looks okay, but it's a little short, so let's drag it on out some. Try and kind of line it up with the length of her eyes her eyelashes. I think that would be okay right there. And now we're going to make a brush out of the eyelash. So go to your brushes panel. On the bottom of your brushes panel, new, new brush, and we're going to make a scatter brush here. Look okay. And we're going to call this eyelash. eyelashes now we're gonna make these adjustments but we can't do it right now we gotta wait until we actually use the brush okay so for now we just have eyelashes pull this down a little bit oh, well actually there it is I don't need to pull it down so what we're gonna do now we're gonna release that we'll get our pen tool again we're gonna start oh about let's see about where's her eyelashes start probably about probably about right right there and we're going to go all the way down here again we'll get our pen tool and we're going to start we're going to draw some uh, a curve for the eyelash you want to start right about I guess in her eyelash you start right about here it's not the best picture in the world I have here but and we'll go to the other side we're going to click and hold and we're going to drag this out you know roughly get the curve of her eyes you don't have to be super precise on this because the eyelashes themselves are going to fix it and then we're going to let go. And we'll come over here. We're going to apply the scatter brush. Now don't worry about the horrible look right now. We're going to fix this. What we're going to do to start with, we're going we're to make an adjustment with the spacing. We're going to bring the spacing in oh, somewhere between 15 and 20% because I've done this before. So let's see what. Uh, oh, we forgot to turn preview on. You can actually turn a preview on and look at it. That looks okay, yeah. But the rotation's way off, so let's uh let's try to adjust the rotation some until we get it about where we want. More curled up. Not a real big curl on them eyelashes. I should put a little more curve, but I'm just gonna go with this for now. Y'all, y'all gonna curve yours however you want. Okay, so we now have. 
the uh, look here. And we'll click OK. And we're going to apply strokes. There we have our eyelashes. Now, what we want to do is we want to release everything. Come back here. And we're going to nudge our eyelashes up some. We'll nudge it by like. I worried it is a little bit in her eyeball. That's all right. And we're going to come down on this side. Try to get a rotation. There we go. Rotate a little bit. Rotate a little bit more. And let's nudge back down. And there we go. We have our eyelashes placed. Oh, I need to get rid of this one, don't I? And we see. I don't like that rotation too well. Yeah, I believe that will work. So we apply the stroke. We're going to drag it just a little more. We're going to have to rotate it one more time to get this lined up right. Let's bump it up. And I'm going to bring it sideways just to here. There we go. That's how I wanted it. All right. It took a little bit of doing. It takes a little bit of playing with to get those eyelashes going. So now we want to do the same thing with the bottom. Grab your pen tool. We'll start probably, say, her eyelashes look like they start probably right about there. Go here, click and drag. Oh, actually, you know what? I need to create eyelash. Eyelash for the bottom. So we're going to try to go along the curvature here a little bit. So we'll, I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to go just a little bit to my left. see about drawing out just a little bit just like that and we're going to do the stroke panel again we're going to give it the same profile we'll flip it there we go and we're going to go ahead and release it just for a minute I'll put it up there so make sure I like it looks good I think I like that so let's go ahead and uh, go to our symbols panel to our brushes panel again let's create a bottom eyelash so we'll just create new we'll call this and it's gonna be a scatter brush as well we'll call this bottom eyelash and click OK so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that get our pen tool and I'm saying I think our eyelashes start probably roughly right around here somewhere and we'll go to here click and drag get it roughly right around that edge there and let's and again we're going to adjust it so the spacing So I'd probably about 15% be just about right. And let's fix the rotation. Oops, rotating the wrong way. So let me put in 65 here and see what that looks like. Tab. I don't won't really know until I get it in position. But we're going to apply the stroke. Whoops. Command Z. And we're going to release it. Now we're going to move it down some. I'm going to move it. I want it to connect there. And let's move down. Now let's get this rotated a little bit. Let's move this way some and up some. We'll just 
just drag it out a little bit too because it looks like I might have just made it just a little short. Whoops, grabbed the wrong thing. Command Z there. Scroll up and rotate it back down. Put it this way. It's all right if it's in her eye just a little bit there. All right, so let's go ahead and release that. All right, now we have our eye and our eyelashes. Let's zoom out and just see what it looks like. I'm going to control or command minus. And let's turn off the template. Let's close all this stuff. And there's our eye. Let's zoom in. Let's take a look at it. Zoom in just a little bit here. Not too bad. When you zoom out, it looks really good. Again, the command or control minus. And the bottom eyelashes, they just bother me, but we're, you're getting the gist of it, I hope, here. It takes a little work. The eyelashes, to me, seem to be the hardest thing to do. So anyhow, we, we got our eyes. So now we need to turn on our template again because we don't need to draw. All right, what we need to do now, we need to zoom in a little bit first. Oh, wait. Mine just zooms way. I'm doing this on a laptop with a small screen, so zoom just fills it up quickly. What we're going to do is you see the crease right here? We're going to actually, uh, we're going to actually, well, what, I'll show you right here. Whoops, wrong one. Let me see. We're going to get a little crease. That's just the crease of the outline of her eye. That's not eye shadow. It's just going to simulate the crease in her eye. Okay. So let's get the pen tool. And let's say I'm going to start probably about right here. Come down to where I'm guessing it's at. Again, this is not the best picture in the world. But you can kind of see how it's going to go with that path right there. So I'm going to say right here, I'm going to draw up, bring that curve up, 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 up. Oops, bring it down some, readjust. Like you got to really play with these handles to get that curve to go just the way you want it. So that looks pretty good right there. And of course we want a stroke on that. So let's swatch. We'll put a stroke on it. And we want to go with a skin tone color. So let's open this up. And let me see where's my skin tones. There it is. And I'm thinking probably, probably about that color. Maybe. Mm, yeah, I'm guessing that color would work. And we're going to go to our stroke panel. We're going to widen that up just a hair about two points and let's go ahead and select that profile so it'll look better flipped yeah I think it would look a little bit better flipped right there so we got it flipped now we got our crease in our eye set so let's close this back out I think in another profile would would even be better where's my stroke panel there it is let's try this profile kind of get them on both sides yeah yeah that looks better so I'm going to go with that profile. And let's, uh, while we have it, let's get it selected correctly here. Let's go ahead and send this back behind range. Send it back and get it behind the eyelashes there. And let's deselect it. And there we go. We have our skin tone. That might need to be just a little bit darker. So let's go with the swatch. Let's open up our skin tone again. I'm thinking I just want a little, uh, a little too light there so let's let's go with that color there there we go that, that'll work more better as they say in the south zoom out just a little bit because we have got to draw the eyelashes okay and what we're going to do is we're going to get the pen tool here and uh, let's see let's get a little darker color than that so let's go back to our skin tones I want to make it a little blonde, 
a little dark brownish blondish so let's go with let's say let's say this one right here okay let's go ahead and close that back out we're going click right here come up about I don't know two thirds three quarters of the way up the eyebrow whoops let me uh, try that again alright click right here come up to where it's just about to start to turn and drag kind of fit that line there and let's go down Oop, let me uh, release that click on here and release that handle and we'll go down again and just shape it just a little bit try it. I don't want it there we go and I'm gonna lower that down I'm gonna select it with my tool here I'll select them both both sides there we'll bring it down to about the middle of our eyebrow and then we're gonna go to the stroke panel I'm gonna thicken it up a little bit probably about like that now we're going to apply a chalk brush to it let's go to the brushes let's open up new brushes let's go to artistic brushes charcoal brushes and let me see which one do I want I think it probably this one right here And there we go and now we have her eyelashes you can play around with the brushes before we get before I get completely through I'm going to show you a different way to do these bottom eyelashes because those things are just bothering me I don't like the way they look so I'll show you something different once we get through so now we now we have her eye drawn now that you have her eye drawn <coughs> now that you have her eye drawn might as well make a symbol out of them so we'll go here create new symbol I'm going to call this uh, blue eyes. And you don't you don't have to worry about none of these boxes. That has to do with flash. As it, says, it tells you right here what that has to do with. And now, whenever you need an eye, you have an eye there you can use. You can just literally drag it out. And there you go. You got another eye. Okay, so let me go ahead and delete that. All right, now what we want to do is we're going to reflect this to the other side. We're not going to draw a second eye. We're going to use the same eye. Dennis, I want to show you one other thing uh, with our eyebrow. I'm going to break the, break, break the link to the symbol here real quick. If you want that plucked look, you can go to uh, your stroke panel. say seven five a really plucked look point five so you can adjust that with your stroke okay we're back at point one there so that's what that's what looks good All right, now we have our eye drawn our symbol made let's uh, make her second eye again like I said it's really simple we're gonna select the entire eye go to rotate or excuse me reflect tool be right underneath the rotate tool click on it find the center line and if you want you can drag out a guide to help you and of course I got to turn on oh, it's not going to let me turn on there is it view guides and what we're going to do is you can be anywhere along the center point it doesn't matter where you're at so what we're going to do is we're going to get on there we're going to alt or option click and we're going to see it's going to reflect vertical right here and we're just going to copy and there you have your second eye I'll turn off the guides and deselect everything and let's turn off the uh, template and there's your eyes now I'm not at all happy with those bottom eyelashes they kinda look funky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something different you can actually do if you run into the same problem. If I were to play with this for a little while, I'd get them looking right. I think I got them grouped too tightly or something. I'm not exactly sure what I did wrong there. But So 
what we want to do is we're going to select this eye, do this on one eye, and we're going to break the link to the symbol so I don't change the symbol itself. And then we're going to just, just go ahead and move that down. Let's see. There we go. All right. What you can do to get away without doing an eyelash altogether, what you can do, let's say click about right here. Go to about right there. Click and drag. That'd be about right, right there, right? Let's go ahead and let's uh, go to the stroke panel. And let's thicken that up a little bit. Uh, maybe even three. Let's see what three looks like. And let's go see about this right here. There we go. Let's release that. And let's zoom out so you can see what it looks like. See, gives her a little, a little, real little eyelash look there, kind of, sort of. Okay, there's one last thing we need to do with this, with these eyes. Uh, in order to prevent what's called dead eye, we need to put a little white dot in them. So we're going to get our ellipse tool here. And we're holding shift, click. We'll draw it out about that far. We want a white fill in it. We'll move it down to one eye. I waited for last to do this because when we reflected the eyes, it, if, it, if we had had them in there, uh, she would look cross-eyed by the time we got done. Now we got located right about where I want. We'll go all click. Well, first we're going to release. Make, take a look. Yeah, we got about right where we want. We'll all click. That makes a copy. We'll drag it. Looking at our smart guide, keeping it straight. And there you go. Now she no longer has dead eyes. And that's all there is to create eyes. It's fairly simple. And I hope this has helped someone. You have a good day.